assalamu alaikum uh, in this lecture we are going to find the inductance of a three phase line so we will be considering uh, two scenarios first one is the one in which we have equilateral spacing and by equilateral spacing mean we have uh, equal distance between all the phases like we have uh, uh, three phases a b and c and the distance between all the phases between a and b b and c and c and d is d so they are spaced uh, and placed at the vertices of the equilateral triangle then the second scenario is the one in which uh, the conductors are not equally spaced and that is known as unsymmetrical spacing the distances uh, are defined by d3 1 d1 2 and d2 3 and this 1 2 and 3 these are the positions and a b and c these are the phases so in the first scenario uh, the phase A is at position 1, B at position 2 and C at position 3. So these are the two scenarios that we will be covering in this lecture. Uh, first one is the equilateral spacing of the three phase line conductors and the second one is the unequilateral spacing or unsymmetrical spacing. Starting from the balanced uh, system, uh, the phases are placed at the vertices of the equilateral triangle and the distances between them is equal to D. Now we will have to apply the equation of flux linkage that we solved or derived in the last lecture uh, in which we find the flux linkage of a particular conductor this is lambda 1 uh, for the conductor number 1 uh, in a group of conductors a and all the conductors were having current being passed through them. So in three phase system these three conductors A, B and C all are having uh, current passing through them right. So if I have to write the equation of flux linkage for phase A that will be 2 into 10 raised to minus 7 IA IA is the current through conductor A and ln 1 over ds and now here ds is actually equal to RA dash so this is the radius of conductor A which is actually the fictitious radius. Now the second term is uh, having IB so this is the current that is flowing through phase B so uh, in denominator of uh, the natural logarithm fraction the distance of uh, conductor B from A is D so D is placed in the denominator S similarly for the current that is passing through conductor C the natural logarithm term has D placed in the denominator right so the distances between a b and c is d that's why for the term that has uh, th that is concerned with the current passing through phase b and the uh, one which is concerned with the current that is passing through conductor c has d in the denominator now as the system is balanced so it means that ia plus ib plus ic is equal to zero so this is a balanced system the summation of all the currents is equal to zero so this ib plus ic can be replaced with minus ib plus ic so we can replace this ib plus ic with minus a so this is done in this equation right and now we have two logarithmic terms and they are separated by a negative sign so it means that the second term of this equation can be placed in the denominator so the equation will become i a into ln 1 over ds divided by 1 by d and by further solving it i a is equal to uh, sorry i a into ln d over ds so this is the flux linkage equation that we will get if we will be finding the flux linkage for conductor a now as uh, the system the three phase system the three phase transmission line system is symmetrical they are having the symmetrical spacing between them so we uh, the conductors are having symmetrical spacing so all the inductances for conductor A for conductor B and conductor C they will be equal so we will be using this formula for the inductance that is 2 into 10 raised to minus 7 ln d over ds this d is actually the distance between the phases and this ds is actually the radius of the conductor and we are uh, assuming that all the conductors 
are having the same radii. Now moving on towards the second part in which we have unsymmetrical spacing. The distance between all the phases A, B and C they are different. So for between A and B the distance is 1, 2. B and C the distance is D, 2, 3. And between 3 and 1 it is D, 3, 1. And these are the position 1, 2 and 3 and the phases are placed in position 1, 2 and 3 in this particular case. Uh, for the unsymmetrical spacing uh, there is a chance of unbal unbalanced currents. Why? Because uh, the distance is not same so there is uh, there will be unequal inductances in the system so due to unequal inductance there will be unbalanced current. So to remove these unbalanced uh, or unsymmetry from the system we have to apply transposition. So what we are doing to make the inductance of all the phases same we will recurrently change the position of the conductors such that all the conductors uh, conductor A, B and C have been at the position of the other conductors right so they will the idea is such that we have we want every conductor to cover same distance in each of the position in position 1 in position 2 and position 3 so we will be rotating phase a b c in on, on these three positions 1 2 and 3 so once we will rotate uh, these uh, phases in different positions then we will have the average inductance that will be same for all the phases right so this is the scenario that we will be applying like in first case we will have conductor a b and c in position 1 2 and 3 in the second case we will have uh, the position changed and in position number 1 we will have phase C in position number two we will have phase A and in position number three we will have phase B. And similarly, we will uh, change the position in the scenario number three as well. Now to calculate the inductance for position number one, in this position we have A at position number one, phase A at position number one, and phase B at position number two, and phase three at position number C. The same formula will be applied. Uh, that is lambda A one. Now this is the flux linkage of conductor A or phase A conductor when it is placed at position number 1. So the formula remains same IA, IA is this one, the current that is flowing through this conductor and uh, LN 1 over DS, this DS is actually RA dash. Now for the second term in which current through conductor number B is involved, the distance that will be we will be using in the denominator of the logarithmic term that will be d12 so the distance from phase a and in the third portion or in the third third part of the equation the current ic is involved that is passing through conductor c so in denominator we will have the distance from the conductor a till conductor c so that is d3 one so this is the equation for flux linkage of conductor a when it is placed at position number one now when the conductor a is moved to position number two now the distances are changed so therefore we have to be careful about putting these distances in this equation for ia the denominator will remain same that will be r a dash for ib the now the distance is changed a is in, in position number 2 and B is at position number 3. So the distance between A and B is D23. So we will put D223 in the I B term. And now for IC the distance is D12. The distance between A and C is D12. So therefore we have D12. Similarly for position number 3 for IA DS remains same that is RA dash. For IB the distance between B and A is d31 and for ic the distance between b and c is d23 <coughs> now we have found out the flux linkages for phase a in all the three positions now we will take the average and for taking the average we will divide it by 3 so this is the formula 2 into 10 to minus 7 3 ia ln 1 over ds because the first term was same in all three flux linkages so we have 3 ia ln 1 over d ds plus for ib 
IB was rotated in all the three position D12, D23 and D31. So LN1 over D12, D23, D31. Similarly, IC was rotated in on all the position D12, D23 and D31. Now for we are assuming that once the transposition is being done, th then the system will become symmetric or balanced. So in that case, if the system is now balanced, then IA plus IB plus IC will be equal to zero. And this IB plus IC can be replaced by minus IA. So this is your minus IA. So now this three term will go inside the bracket and it will be become the power 1 by 3 and in the last case it will cancel out and there will be a cube root on the terms of d12 d23 and d31 right so this is the average inductance per phase when the transposition is done and in numerator that is the d equivalent d equivalent and in denominator we have ds that is r a dash r a dash that is actually equal to r a e raised to minus 1 by 4 r a to point double seven double eight so now we have two formulas for the calculation of inductance if we have equilateral spacing then the formula is 2 into 10 raised to minus 7 ln d over ds and if it is unequal spacing then 2 into 10 raised to minus 7 ln d equivalent over ds and this d equivalent is actually equal to cube root of d12 d23 d31 thank you